So Switzerland now has something called basic income. And what I think of when I think of basic income is I think of basic human rights, meaning everyone should have the right to housing, to food, to shelter, just your basic needs for living, basically. And now, so Switzerland has no homeless, no hungry, and very low crime. Um, I know Switzerland is much smaller than the U.S. It's about the population of New York or Manhattan. However, when I think about the future and I think about jobs being automated, more and more robots doing our work, and I see that this is the way that things will be going. And with this in mind, with population growing and less and less jobs for everyone, more and more people are going to be unemployed. You cannot grow employment on a finite planet, okay? It just isn't going to happen. You can't just keep growing um, jobs. It's, it's not going to happen. You can't grow jobs. It's finite. So, yeah, I think everyone should have your basic needs met. And it's not welfare. Just our national debt alone could cover it. It's stupid for a, a country to go in debt. Why is our money, uh, why are we borrowing money? That doesn't make any sense to, you know, like you don't, you can't have, that's like saying you're a slave. You know, you, you don't have any money. You're a slave. You're borrowing your money. <laughs> it makes no sense. You're you're working paycheck to paycheck just to feed and house yourself, just to live. It's like saying, if you don't work, you're, you're going to be dead. You're going to be starving on the streets, basically. Um, it's, it's a human right. I've always felt that food should be free. You know, like you should just be able to go down to some kind of a large park area where they grow all kind, where the food grows and you have community gardens and people help and grow food and stuff like that. So, I mean, something needs to happen. Because, like I said, it's not sustainable, number one. And two, it's it's just in the future, I don't see it working because of automation. And um, another thing, if we had this basic income like Switzerland does, we could eliminate or, or reduce government, and government would be cheaper. Also, we would... Um, It would boost the economy, of course. People would have extra money because it's not just basic income you're getting. You're also whatever on top of whatever else you make. So this would free people from doing things they don't want to do. And then about the things that need to be done, like cleaning toilets or something, well, then those people would just get paid more. Um, you know, industry would have less expense. They... They would have robots doing work. Factories would just be all automated. Um, UPS, carless drivers, um, things like that. And um, it would, uh, well, anyway, you, I think you get the idea. Now, some of the arguments are, well, you know, people will just be sitting around doing nothing, but I mean, if there's no jobs, people are sitting around doing nothing as it is. Plus, they have no money, so that means there's less money in the economy, you know, for improvement, for innovation, for ideas, for technology. Um, I don't even really see it as money. Again, I see it as a basic human right, so the right to have food and shelter. I mean, what's going to happen when all of a sudden you've got like tens of thousands of people starving on the streets and there's looting and rioting and, and I mean, just think of all the money is spent in government for um, incarceration and all this. I mean, I'm sure crime rate would, rates would go way down um, when it gets that bad. It's going to get worse if, if there's not something done. So I don't know. That's just my thoughts for now. Um, 
I'm sure they, they, there's a way to do it. Like I said, why are we borrowing money in the first place? Why are we having all these wars? You know, they, they have cars now that run on hydrogen. We're not going to need to go fight people in their countries anymore to uh, take their resources or to try to, you know, make them go on our, our dollar standard, which means they go into debt. So, okay. Take care.